Hey guys, hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new here. So you will know that I love Gucci. I have a lot of Gucci videos on my channel, so check them out. We've got Gucci belts, Gucci bags, Gucci sandals, you name it. So today I thought I would compare the new Gucci loafers and do an unboxing of them in comparison to my most loved Gucci shoes. Like these have been battered, they have been in my life for years, so I thought it would be really nice to do a comparison point. Yes, these need cleaning, I know. So without further ado, sit down, get comfy, and I hope you're going to like this little unboxing and review video. As always with all of my videos, everything is linked below. Just click show more or click the little arrow under the button. And if you're new to my channel, it would mean so much if you could hit the subscribe button down here somewhere. And come say hi on Instagram at mshellax. I would love to have you as part of the family. So, one Gucci box. Let's open it up. Ooh. Sound of sweet, sweet Gucci. Inside, I went for the new woman's loafer with double G buckle. Of course I did. I saw these on the website and I was like, oh my goodness, they have brought out a new style of Gucci loafers. I was actually trying to link these ones because someone asked me where they were from. My brother hates these. When I put them on the certain outfits, he's like, they just don't look good. <laughs> I love them because I'm very wide-footed and oh, for me, I think they're really great for wide-footed people and they've been great for me to run around to meetings and stuff because of the heel, but they're still very, very comfortable to walk in and I just find Gucci shoes are so good for wide-footed people. These ones look to me as if they're a bit more narrow, but I think they're just going to look a lot more narrow on the feet, so they're going to be more flattering, let's say, because these are wide-footed, but they're probably not as flattering as, say, these ones. I think these would be even more flattering if they had, oh, a little point to the end, but they're actually quite squared off. Guys, just whilst I've got them on my feet now, I just want to say they are definitely more fitting, like the Prince Town. My friend told me that you should size up in them because they're very narrow fitting and these ones are definitely narrow fitting so I got a size UK 6 and struggled to get my feet into them and I'm sure they will give a little bit when you wear them but personally 6.5 would have been great for me I don't think Gucci do half sizes check but I would definitely size up in them if I was you and particularly if like me you have wide feet but if you look at these ones these ones are actually quite rounded off these are a bit more bohemian still classy and nice with the fringe but it's quite nice to have some without the fringe. I would have loved to have seen like um, the leather here in like a colour, like a band. I think that would have been really cool. But they do do these in loads of different colours. I, I actually really like the brown ones as well. But I went for this colour just because I know that I love to have like a monochrome wardrobe. I think it looks really good. So in terms of heel height, these ones are actually a little bit smaller than these ones. And I think the heel height of these ones is perfect. Um, this one's a little bit smaller but obviously not flat so you still get a little bit of height. And I just think it's in comparison. Guys, comment, let me know what you think. Like, I just think these ones actually, obviously these ones are battered, but I think these ones are a little bit more masculine, dare I say, a little bit more kind of, they will go with everything, whereas these ones, they don't go with everything because obviously they're a bit frilly themselves. I then have these ones, which, oh my gosh, these are absolutely divine. So these ones are in suede, and I actually wish I didn't get them in black just because I think I would prefer these in a neutral colour and get loads more wear out of them if they were neutral. They are so comfy. Firstly, perfectly built for wide feet, and I think because they've got the high heel, they look so nice on the feet. Like, they're really flattering the way that they stand when I wear them. Um, so even though they are really chunky, the chunky heel means they're super comfortable and super flattering. The height makes my legs look a lot better than say the height of these ones because I fell in love with these I thought oh I'm gonna get the same shoe but with a bit of a smaller heel but in hindsight I want these ones in um, a more neutral color now but yeah I just thought I would pick these up and do a comparison and see how we feel about the new loafers I get a lot of questions about Gucci loafers saying to me oh have you tried the Gucci loafers I know that you can obviously get the Prince Towns you can get the ones that have the flat backs there are so many different Gucci loafers out there so I'm just gonna quickly check check how much these were. These were 560 which honestly I think Gucci shoes have gone up in price. I would say though my Gucci shoes I've had them for like years and years and years. They are definitely very long lasting, very high quality, very durable. These obviously have 
the leather at the bottom so they're very hard wearing and I think if you are going to get loafers and you have the money to do so obviously go for Gucci loafers because to me they are the creme de la creme yes you are paying for branding and there are so many dupes out there which I will link some dupes below if you would rather just get a dupe if you're not bothered about it being a dupe and you just like how they look then obviously go ahead and do that but I actually like the fact that these have the GG logo rather than just kind of like the gold bit that goes along the other Gucci loafers and um, I think it kind of distinguishes them and you can see very obviously that they're designer if that is what you want but yeah I just think that these are the kind of shoes that you could wear in really well I know that with the Prince Towns my friend said that they came in quite small and they were very narrow I found that with all my Gucci shoes I buy my normal size size UK 6 and they're fine so I'm sure that these will loosen up with your feet I'm gonna link below some little shoe socks that you can wear that are like really thin and look really pretty with loafers but they're not actually socks just stop them like smelling sweaty and stuff but I just love the cream and the gold for me it is just perfect and I know that these can be worn with everything they're super versatile you could wear them with a little white dress like I'm wearing now you could put them with white jeans I've seen a lot of people wearing trousers with Gucci loafers I just think they look lovely be interested to get your guys opinions on the front do you think that they're a little bit square I mean it's best to see them on my feet because then you can see and that's why I wanted to really just style them up in this video there's only so much I can say about loafers but I just saw I wanted to try something that was a little bit more simple and straightforward than something with the bigger heel and the frill on it, the fringe if that makes sense. So I thought it would be quite nice to do a little comparison. But hopefully you like the way I've styled them, maybe it's giving you some ideas of how to style yours or maybe you just wanted to look at a new season Gucci loafer, see them on the feet, have a look at them with some normal outfits and yeah have a chat about them. If you have any questions comment below and let me know and I can't wait to try them out. Thank you so much for watching guys. Come and say hi on Instagram and Twitter at mshellx and I really hope you enjoyed a little chat about Gucci shoes.